Hello and welcome to another edition of Mailbag. What is Mailbag? Well, Mailbag is a feature of the channel where you guys leave lots of comments on the channel and I attempt to answer those comments or if I can't answer those comments, I throw it out to you guys who have more knowledge on some of this stuff than I do. So, let's get into the first mailbag of this session. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. Go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. So I'm recording this video on quite a warm day. So I've got the door open and I've got the window open just to allow some breeze through because I can't have a fan running in here otherwise all you hear on the, on, the, on the video track is Whoa. Anyway, there is a fly and the fly can't work out how to get out the window. So it's just flying round and round and round. So annoying. Anyway, next comment or question comes from your Sullivan board, Sullivan Den board. Okay, I think that's how, how that username is pronounced. Uh, and this was in response to a review of the Phantom EX upgrade Roland S50 keybed, a video that was done in February 2024. And he writes, hey, news for you. Roland will replace the Phantom 6, 7 and 8 with the 6EX, the 7EX and the 8EX. Ha 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 ha! This is a new, is news? No. So, um, it's probably in that sort of kind of, I think, I think it was translated from German. News? No. Um, anyway, great idea from Roland. No more updates to do. All included when you buy. Great, 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 great. But I have no info about hardware. Upgraded, up, up, updated, upgraded, more memory, I don't know. Time will tell. Have a good day. Um, now, I've, I've basically, I've seen the same same adverts uh, recently in the UK and, U and Europe with retailers selling the current Roland Phantom bundled with the EX upgrade as part of the package. Um, but what I haven't seen uh, anything relating to fully branding the Roland EX instrument and I will keep my eyes peeled on that one in fact actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to quickly have a quick Google now so obviously there was a little bit of time between me writing the response that I just relayed and today when I'm recording this segment to camera and I haven't really been taking very much notice of the Roland website recently, I have to be honest, because I've been a bit busy doing this. Um, so, what I did do is, in that short commercial break, I went and Googled just to see if Roland have actually now rebranded the Phantom, and they have rebranded the Phantom. The Phantom now comes with a white banner underneath the word Phantom that says EX on it. So, they are now selling the EX. Um, but from what I can see, there's actually very little difference apart from the major upgrade to the actual software of the machine that has all the EX components to it. I can't see very much difference in the specs between the Phantom and the Phantom EX. Now, I'm sure somebody is going to jump in and say, ah, oh, you, you're talking rubbish. It's this one, this and that. But if I look at um, the specifications on here, at a very, very click glance, or quick glance at the specifications, it looks to be the same machine, just with the added EX software loaded onto it. So anyway, comments down below if you think that there are uh, actually machine upgrades uh, that perform between the original Phantom and the Phantom EX. Next common question comes from Coco Cat. Uh, and this was in response to, can the System 1 send SysX? Roland System 1 lost patches, a mailbag I did in February 2024. And uh, Coco Cat writes, right, after talking about people telling you that something is possible, but don't tell you how, you go and do exactly the same thing at the end of the video. Tell us the workaround and what software it is. It is very likely the software is on the net somewhere. Many people have older uh, composites that run older software. 
I think this is in response to saying how you do how you deal with librarian for the system one. And uh, I'm sorry about that. I, I, the reason why I didn't go into it is um, basically the alternative uh, was that you you could load the old software, which I can I, I've still got on my old Mac if I'm brutally honest. Um, but you cannot export the plugin out of the Roland Cloud to load it into the standalone software like you used to be able to do. So when the System 1 originally came out, what you could do was effectively download the plugin in the outsourced format. Uh, and then you load it into the librarian and then you use the librarian to update System 1. Um, but since Roland has changed the, the mechanism uh, to the Roland Cloud mechanism, that piece of software was depreciated and is no longer available via Roland. And so I have got a copy of it and you need an older version of the Mac to run it. But the wrinkle is that you can't um, export the plugin from the Roland Cloud, or I can't work out how to export the Roland plugin from the Roland Cloud to load it into the old editor to load it. Um, so, to be honest, it was kind of a bit pointless me going down that path with you if you couldn't do it in the first place. So, that was kind of why I didn't expand on that. So, then Coco Cat writes back and says, Well, the System 8 can uh, save plugouts to an SD card. The binaries are in the data and they're likely to uh, in the plugin data as well. At that point, it becomes a task of sending them to the System 1. And there's a tool that did this in the past, maybe I'll use this to do something in the future. Um, I would be surprised if Roland hadn't covered themselves on that one. But, um, yeah, the software was supplied by Roland, and I've, then I've gone on to sort of say what the software was. Um, I've got a version which is 1.06 installed on my old Mac. However, it comes in a trial format and requires an activation code. So, even if you've got the software without the activation code, it's kind of a bit useless because you can't actually do anything with it. Um, and this is something I, I sort of then went and did some research on after, after I made the comment. So mine obviously is activated because I activated it on my old Mac. But even if I were to you know, ping someone the original software, uh, unless you've got the code to activate it with, um, it's a bit pointless again. So I, what I said is, you know, I told you what, what the software was. I've told uh, Coco Cat, you know, how to install it, but he's never come back to me and said he's actually got it working. So plus or minus, don't know. But that is how you, you used to load the plugouts onto the system one when it first came out. 